There's been some favorable economic news lately. Wall Street is doing well. Some sectors of the real estate market are recovering from severe hard times. Consumer confidence is increasing. But it would be wrong to see the economy in overly positive terms, and economic anxiety remains an important part of the political landscape. Private sector capital investment remains weak, millions remain unemployed, and have poor prospects of finding good-paying jobs. Many have given up looking for work altogether, and others are drastically underemployed. Growth is tepid, holding at 2.2 percent since the recession ended four years ago. The gap between rich and poor is wide and deep, and millions of middle-class Americans say their income has been stagnant for years. Political scientist Bill Galston of the Brookings Institution, a former advisor to President Bill Clinton, says the reality of the economy is probably that people who don't have work are a little more optimistic about finding it, but people who do have work are not as optimistic about moving forward. They have strong doubts that their pay will increase, that they will be promoted, and that their children will do better than they're doing. Large numbers of Americans rate the economy as poor or fair, hardly a vote of confidence in America's political leaders. So behind the relatively positive numbers, the country remains worried and unsettled about the future. The party that can persuade middle America that it has the prescription to turn things around will do very well in the midterm elections of 2014 and in the general election of 2016. But so far, the country does not have much faith in anyone or any faction at the federal level. And that will be the recipe for a bad outcome for many incumbents in 2014. For U.S. News, I'm Ken Walsh.